What is up, Cranics? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles. Never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you guys want me to customize next, and I'll display the most like vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Meibatsu Penumbra. So, this car is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one. This is a car you can get off the street for free, or you can buy it from the Southern San Andreas website for $24,000. Now in terms of customization, this car is honestly pretty impressive for an OG car. And for those of you who don't really like the regular Penumbra too much, remember that they did add the second generation Inspired Eclipse Penumbra FF with the Summer 2020 DLC. But that one is priced like a supercar <laughs> at almost $1.4 million, which is pretty insane. Now the OG Penumbra, which is basically free, isn't all that bad. And for those of you who don't know, Rockstar actually went back and added liveries for this car with the After Hours update back in 2018. Now in terms of performance, the Penumbra is in the sports car class, and as to be expected, it's very... <laughs> very slow and it's pretty much at the bottom of the class in terms of performance like an 80th place which honestly is pretty bad i think this car would have been better suited for the coupes class but even then it still wouldn't have been competitive at all in that class anyway so again this is a car you get more for the styling and customization and the fact that it's obviously pretty much free if you find it on the street rather than the performance itself but anyways, in terms of what the Penumbra is based on, it's primarily based on the 4th generation Mitsubishi Eclipse. A very unique looking car. I remember when this car came out in 2006, I honestly really liked it, because it was very different, very unique looking. Honestly, I liked the Nissan 350Z back then a lot better, but this was still a pretty good looking car as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the OG Penumbra. All right, Penumbra. Now Here we got armor, got brakes, got bumpers. So you have a custom front splitter and it removes a license plate as well. Pretty nice, also has like a vent down there. Interesting. Then you have the carbon version, which is, which has, I guess the other one, yeah, it's a splitter and then this one is like a, just a bigger version of that. It sticks out more. Um, also gives you tow hook and the canards. I think <laughs> it's a bit too much for this car, if I'm being honest. You know, this this thing doesn't have a million horsepower, but <laughs> it's not very fast either. Um, but, you know, it's different, I guess, if you're going for, like, a serious track build. But I think this one suits the car a little better, so we'll do that. Um, rear bumpers. Oh, the rear valence and carbon. That's sick. And by the way, the rear valence is tied to your secondary color, so... If you make your secondary color primary, then this will be colored back here, which looks a little weird, so the carbon is nice to have. Um, then you have a giant diffuser attached, which doesn't really look too great. It looks like it's just plopped on there, doesn't what follow the lines it? of the car at all. <laughs> um, and then carbon version of that. Okay, I think the carbon rear will do your that. Engine, exhaust, okay, let's rub it up here to get rid of the smoke. So you have a quad square exhaust stock. That's that's a little strange, kind of like the Corvette C8, the regular one. It just looks awful. <laughs> uh, dual titanium exhaust, I guess a bit better with the quad, um, and then giant dual <laughs> dual exhaust. Well, the quad looks good. The titanium. Um, I wish it would have been chrome, honestly. The titanium's a bit much, but this definitely looks better than stock. So we'll go with that. Uh, grill. So you have exposed intercooler. And it also makes uh, the center portion carbon. Now, th that center piece that splits the grill is linked to your secondary color, as with the rear bumper of the fuser area. Um, so definitely, I think the carbon looks a bit better. I kind of like the Meibatsu logo, but at the same rate, you know, the carbon in the middle does look good. Plus, I'm going to make the secondary color of this car primary because it's also linked to the mirrors and the door handle, and it just looks weird. Um, especially how the pearlescent transfers to your secondary color too if we're doing like a nice metallic color um, So I think I'm gonna do the exposed intercooler uh, Hood you have carbon hood You have vented hood which this is linked to your secondary color as well 
Um, and then you have carbon vented. So we're gonna do the vented hood for sure. That's another reason why I'm doing the secondary color, um, you know, match it to the primary. Horn, skip that. Lights, the xenons, eh. It'll be the white, eh, why not? Throw some xenons. Uh, liveries, all right. So these liveries were added with the after hours update, AKA the nightclub update whatever you want to call it. Uh, so you have dual white stripes, very cool. You have black stripes, okay. You have the thick white stripes. <laughs> all right, it only goes on the hood and the roof. Interesting. Then you got the black stripe version of that. Um, then you have hard parking, okay. You got Vinyl Tastic, which this is kind of similar to Roman's Eclipse uh, from Too Fast, Too Furious, the purple one, which is the third gen. Um, kind of funny how they did that there. Again, this is a fourth gen Eclipse, so not the same car, but I think that's pretty cool. Well, you have Neon Tear, you very different. It, <laughs> okay. You have Meibatsu Works, nice. You have the Racing one, this one's pretty sick. And then you got the Almost Had You, <laughs> very, very cool. Of course, reference to the first movie with the uh, second gen Eclipse when he races a Dom with the green one. Um, but this, for those of you who don't know, this was added in uh, before we got the Penumbra FF, which is, you know, the actual second gen Eclipse. Um, so, and that one also has a similar livery to this, so it definitely works better with that car. But before we got the Penumbra FF, this is the closest we can get. <laughs> to the second gen Eclipse from the first movie, so yeah. But obviously, you don't really need this anymore, so that's all the options there. All right, so, you know, I'm gonna hold off on the livery for now. I'm not really liking any of these too much. Um, yeah, I mean, this one looks pretty good, the hard parking, but in general, I don't know. But let me do the paint first, and then we might go back to it. A license plate, I don't really have anything good to put on this, um, so I'm just gonna skip that for now. A primary color okay so um, for this I'm thinking of doing I don't know why I love the fourth gen Eclipse and that like orange it was unveiled in and mostly known for that really nice metallic orange um, we're gonna go a bit brighter though so we're gonna go with the sunrise orange and then we're gonna give it a go here a bright orange pearl you can see it really pops love the way that looks um, and then as I talked about, I'm going to make the secondary color match to get rid of all that pearlescent transferring over, which looks a little weird. So we'll do that here. Sunrise. So where are you at? I didn't pass it, did I? Oh, I did pass it. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I'm, I'm blind. That's okay. Sunrise orange. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Um, now, Corublum goes on the hood, for those of you wondering. That color looks really good on this car. A uh, roll cage, so for those of you who like this, uh, basically, obviously, roll cage on the car. Um, and it gives you the stock seats uh, in red, which I don't like. That does not go with orange at all. Maybe if your exterior was white or gray or something like that. Um, but with the orange, it just clashes and looks awful. Plus, the stock seats are already nice, and it has the orange stitching transferred from our primary color, so... I see no reason in putting that upgrade. Um, roof, carbon roof, yes. Very, very nice. That's a nice contrast there. So, you know, it's a good alternative. So you're not forced to do your secondary color in black to have some contrast. You can use the carbon. Same thing with the grill. Just looks really good. Uh, skirts, you have custom skirts, definitely to kind of match our front splitter. Um, then you have the carbon uh, edged version of that. If you want to, well, I guess this would match the other bumper option better. Okay, so custom one there. Spoiler upgrade. So stock, you know, this car has a pretty nice ducktail built into the bodywork. Um, then you have a low-level spoiler. Then you have the high-level spoiler, which this actually looks pretty good. It's a bit too big for my taste in terms of, like, width. Um, but it does look pretty decent. Then you got GT wing and then tuner wing. Um, tuner wing looks pretty good, too. I think out of all of them, this one probably looks the best, at least in my opinion. Um... But, yeah, not too bad. I think a carbon ducktail on this existing body line would have been so nice. But again, it's an OG car, so we really can't <laughs> expect much. But, yeah, high-level spoiler, we'll do that. Suspension, definitely have to lower this all the way. Yeah, why not? Transmission, turbo, 
um, wheels. So I'm kind of between two wheels for this. I'm thinking of doing the from a street category. Where are they? Was it the? No, sorry, it's from a track category. Yeah, I'm between these right here, the split star, which I feel is a bit too simple for this build we went for here. Maybe if the car had more stock parts, but... Um, and then the other wheel I was looking into, I think it looks pretty good too, is the ground rides. I think that's a really solid wheel for this car. I think it looks great, um, especially when we paint it in black. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that looks great. really like that. And some a nice little chrome lip on there to accent it a bit. Um, I think those wheels are perfect. Continuing windows, black it out. Light smoke, yeah, let's black it out. That looks great. And that's all the options there, not too bad. Let's go back to the livery. Let's see. As I was thinking, you know, the, the thick black stripe on the hood doesn't actually look too bad. It kind of goes with the vent. And then we have the carbon roof. Also got the logos on the sides. That actually doesn't look too bad. Um, the hard parking one, that looks pretty good. I kind of like that, and it has it accents the uh, the vent on the hood. That's not bad, not bad at all. Let me see here. Yeah, the stripes is definitely a no go for me. The thick black stripes look okay. The hard parking one. Let's do it. Why not? That looks awesome. I like that. All right, and that's all the options there. Let's take it for a drive. Exit to ground. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Definitely very custom for sure. All right, rev it up. Yeah, not too rid of an exhaust note. Kind of like copied and pasted from any generic coupe or sedan in game. Um, first person. Got the interior from the bullet in here. Interesting. All right, floor it. Rubio drive, some wheel spin. And this is in the sports class, um, and it's one of the slowest cars. <laughs> in the sports class. It's, I think it's like 80-something place. Uh, so, not too great. But, you know, it, it's it's okay. I wouldn't say it's fast. You know, it, it's not really like, wow, this is fast. But it, it moves pretty decently. A bit more power would have been nice. Um, or maybe if they would have put it in the coupes class. But even putting it in the coupes class, it still wouldn't have been <laughs> competitive at all. So, <laughs> and the handling is pretty good. Very, very solid. I think that's Maybe in part because of how slow we're going, but I mean, even high speed here, it's not too bad. A bit of understeer, um, not too terrible. Now, since this is where we will drive, let's try to try to double clutch slash mid drive it. I'm gonna go down here. Let's see how it does. Let's do a handbrake launch. Street race, bro. Let's go, Charger. Let's go. Come on, let's go. That is gonna take forever. Let's go. Oh, it does do it. Look at that. There it goes. No wheel spin, no drama. I mean, it definitely is a lot faster than the, uh... Yeah. Definitely a lot faster than doing it normally. Get this corner here. Let's take this corner up front at a higher speed. Let's see how it does. Oh, a lot of understeer, but it held its own pretty good. And yeah, the understeer is a little weird on this one. It's like, the it's got entry understeer. Then it kind of corrects itself if you get the nose down, so maybe a little bit of a tap of the brake and you can get it to go through the corner a bit better. Uh, but overall, not too bad. Pretty impressed with it. Overall, it's not terrible. I just wish it was faster. <laughs> Alright, let's open all the doors and stuff here. Vehicles. Let's do all. Uh, all. There we go. Alright. Got the engine model there, just copied and pasted, kind of generic. <laughs> not really anything too great. Um, interior, not terrible. Got some speakers back there too. And no back seat, that's surprising. So the real car has a back seat back there, but this one they just kind of blocked it off. Interesting. Is that, is that a manual as well? Looks like it. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Opens back here, trunk. Not too bad. At least everything opens, and they updated it with some liveries and stuff. Um, overall, not a bad car. Again, especially since it's free off the street. I mean, for fun, you might as well just take one off the street. Maybe just throw some money in it just in visual parts since it's already slow. Don't even worry about the performance upgrades, and that's it. 
you have a pretty nice car that you can customize to the way you like, and most people don't really have these in their garages. And something different and nice to upgrade. Well, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want me to customize next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.